and now we're going to um, show you a couple of ways of starting a new project. You really should start a new project fresh and know in other software you can open up an existing project and erase everything and then kind of do a save as and stuff like that and that ends up kind of bloating the file and and um, you know can cause some errors and stuff so we like to start with a new clean file every time and that's where our template file comes in so we saw in our previous lesson under our application pull down under options we can go over here to file locations and we can set this file let's have a look at this and pick browse inside of there it's showing us uh, and I'm gonna just change this to say details okay so what it does is it's showing us um, where it's finding that folder so it's on my C drive program data Autodesk RAC 2012 templates um, US so if I go back to templates there's Canadian ones I've installed US metric US Imperial and I found personally the Canadian metric ones are are actually a little bit kinda of messed up there uh, I don't like the way they work and there's some funny things going on so what I've been doing is using the US metric which I installed when I um, installed when I first put the software on the computer and default metric right there so I can say OK and that would set that as the default template file or Imperial as you choose go back into here um, and we can say default US Canada okay or we can go back up one templates um, Canada and then just use one of these ones inside of here where I am or if you're in the US or in Australia of course then um, that as well as anywhere else in the world when you install the software it asks you if you want to add any more content but you have to kind of look for it so I'm gonna go in here in U US metric and just say default okay you can change this anytime you want but the key is unless I specify otherwise this will be the base file that I'll be using and it's important that that file develops and evolves constantly this is kind of the starter file that we're going to use but inevitably each company will develop their own RTE template file or files plural have one maybe for commercial one for educational one for residential it really depends because what happens is by setting up and setting up all your standards in this template file will allow you to then start a project and a lot of stuff is already preset all your dimension styles and your line styles and all your typical families and everything that you use on a regular basis is saved in this template file so we're going to use the very uh, vanilla plain Jane one that comes with the software but inevitably each company will develop their own inside of their their template file you'll have title blocks and um, all of your fonts and everything all kind of set up to look and feel the way you want so your standards your actual standards um, are saved in your template file so I'm just gonna take note of that and now when I go to start a new project um, in our next lesson we'll see how that template file comes into play